Hello, hello, welcome. This is Mythographic Color and Discover Dreamweaver. This is by Alessandra Fusi. Um, this, I think, believe, is this my first book by her. So I was unsure of this one. Um, it was kind of chaotic and a lot going on, but I decided there were enough pages in there I liked that it would be worth the purchase of adding it to my collection. So Alessandra is an artist and painter, it says on the back. So I guess I could show you the back here. Across Europe and the United States, she loves music, fairy tales, coffee, and dancing. Lives in Italy, two cats, Rhino and Cooper. So 40 illustrations. So again, we're on that nice thick paper, um, perforated. Let's get centered here. And let's take a look. You tell me um, if you have this book, let me know what you think. If you don't, let me know what you think. Um, I'm so a little torn. So is my page. So here we go. So again, I really like the birds, but a lot going on. Are we underwater? Are we not underwater? I'm kind of confused. And maybe as I see more of them done and understand a little more of what's going on, I'll be like, oh, okay, makes sense, I get it. But this one, I love the carousel. I would like to color the carousel. And the carousel is floating away, which I can handle. But then we got a bug or something up here and more waves. Uh, a lot of background noise, I guess. We got some seashells in here, which no big thing, but I do like the carousel. armadillos. I do think it's neat they blocked out some of this like silhouettes on some of the pages. Here we have some tigers. A lot of foliage. Very interesting. I'm not sure what they're on. I can't really tell what they're on. but And I know a lot of these totally imagination, which is what makes them fun, like this page. Um, you know, you got a dragon sleeping here, and one here, and one here. This one would be fun to do. This one isn't overly confusing to me. I like this one as well. She's a very pretty ice queen. Um, I think she's an underwater ice queen. We've got some underwater going on here, but we have crystals and snowflakes up here. So I'm not real sure. But she'd be fun to do like a monochrome palette or something on some blues. Bumblebees. She's got headphones on, so here's her music. Very neat. She's got the horse body. More pretty flowers. Try to go a little slow. It takes a minute to look at these pages and see what all is going on in them. So we've got leaves and whales. Neat. Interesting to say the least. I like it. Not sure. Not sure I'd color that one. But. These guys are cute. It reminds me of the nursery when I'm the mouse ran up the clock. <laughs> and then we got a planet here. So this must be a planet too, or the moon. Interesting. So this is one I would like to tackle. Um, there's another page similar to this in Voyage that has the hand holding a seam. And for some reason that's really intriguing to me. But this one I could do. I think I understand most of what's going on here. We got a little lizard and a castle and birds. I think I could I think I could accomplish this one. Oh, there's another lizard right there. Alright, we have more flowers and some deer and some bugs. Again, we got all this. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be space or water. That one still could be fun to do. I'm not 
not real sure on this one. I obviously see the paper birds, but... Oh, there's a guy there. Okay. Didn't see him at first. Interesting. Catfish, jackalope fish. If you've ever been to Wyoming, we have what are called <laughs> jackalopes. So they're like really big bunnies with these horns. <laughs> they're not fish, but um, yeah, there's always been a debate for years whether jackalopes are real or not. But we do have a giant one you can take a picture of. Or take a picture on, I should say. Interesting with the light, jellyfish light bulb type thing. This one is doable. I'm not sure where he's supposed to be, but I like the pretty flowers and the foxes. That was one of the pages I liked. This one is okay. I think I would struggle to color his suit, but I like his eyes. Kitty in space. Uh, this one is neat. I like the little, it's like he swallowed a world. And there's a little fairy in there. I'm not a big fan of this one. Again, when I see some colored versions and maybe it'll spark my interest. It's usually how it goes. Right now I'm kind of drawing a blank on how I would tackle that one. This one is cute. I do like this one. I would have to Google what these are because I'm not real sure. I, I like to color the ocean, but that is as close to the ocean as I will ever be. Still very cute. These look like little fish eggs, maybe. Or rocks, I guess. Alright, so we got the rib cage with the key. Some pretty flowers. That could be fun to do. Once you figure out what everything is, you got lots of thorns mixed in with your bones here. I like that one. Maybe a good one to do for Valentine's Day. Key to your heart kind of thing, maybe. Storks. Not sure what these are supposed to be. CDs or spaceships? I'm not real sure on that one. They're creative, I give them that. Got a flying lion, one sleeping, two cards flying around. Ooh, could do it like a magic theme. I do like this one. This is one I was interested in. Um, I do wish there was a little less mushrooms on him, but that's more personal preference than anything. I would probably just color over these if I could. But that one is nice. Dragon. This would be a fun oriental page to do. You could do a bokeh background. Things the circles are already drawn in for you. This is the one I really liked. I'm thinking maybe doing this for May. But we'll see. There are a few mermaids throughout Mythographic. But I do like this in the jar one. I think it would be fun to do. So I have my eye on this one. Cute little owl. Looks like a sunflower sunshine theme coming up behind him. Lots of crystals. These books have lots of crystals, I've noticed. Lately, I haven't looked through the older books in a while, which I need to, um, but I know recently there's a lot of crystals. 
this is another one that grabbed my interest, not necessarily as a page to do as like a completed project, but more as one um, to do like copper and rust and gold gears kind of practice on. This was another one that caught my eye. Um, not exactly sure what all is going on. So this is a petal of a flower and then we have a critter here. I was going to say a ferret, but I can't think of the other critter. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> a snake. We got some wings going on here, so I'm not sure where the butterfly may be or is he part of the snake? Not real sure. And are those his wings? Definitely want to see some colored. Some creative people are going to have to show me how this is done. Turtles. How cute. They're little. Very cute. Ooh, that makes me want to go rainbow red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Actually, I'd probably end it where yellow's on the inside and do that in gold. Anyway, another one that caught my eye. Nice little book with a unicorn coming out of it. Fuzzy unicorn with that. Which is just dumped out of the ink, maybe, into the book. It's a pretty one. This, I like this. This is my kind of thing. Not too much going on. Like, not a huge open blank space I gotta fill, but, you know, it would be pretty to do as well. Mm. Oh, these remind me of the ones in the animals in the beginning that Joseph did. They like morph from flowers to animals. Again, not sure if we're back in the water because this kind of looks like coral and stuff to me, but another pretty one. Some lemurs. I was looking at this one. Again, I'm not sure what this is going around. But I don't see any planets or crystals or s underwater themes, so I think it's fairly safe to jungle theme. They do have wings, I see now, but... This is a neat one, kind of like a what's going inside my head kind of thing, travel. Remove before flight. We had to do it like the old map colors and things. Give it a vintage vibe. Very cute little guy. I'm assuming he's a raven because they like to collect treasure and shiny things, and these are all shiny things. I like that our fingernails are already black. Not gonna lie, the moon, I'm not sure I love the face on the moon. <laughs> Again, we got flowers coming off the bird. Not real sure, but maybe it was gonna be a crown, but. Another morph one. The black already put in on the butterflies. I like that as well. Very helpful. Again, we got some water going on here. Be a pretty orange and turquoise page. This is one that I was really super interested in. So we have the sun and the moon. Um, timer theme. So I kind of like feel like they're fighting over to flip it. So I think I'd make one sunshine and one nighttime. Kind of like a fire and ice page. It's 
Ooh, we got a fish and some melting mushrooms. Lots of other stuff going on. This cute little girl on the swing. Oh, this would be a pretty night scene. And then just have your little globs of light here. He gets cute. He's all checking her out. I could do this one. It, this one looks like a lot with like the flowers and things, but I could do this one. All right. So we got snowflakes and a planceta. The birds. Can't think of their names right off. Cardinals, maybe. Interesting. I thought it was heading toward a Christmas theme, but not exactly, I don't think. This one wouldn't be too bad to do. Feather, lots of feathers again with all the tiny little jewelry shiny things. Fish, so I'm not sure we're underwater or out of water again. I've noticed that's a theme in these books too. Is... This is cute, little kitty. He's smacking around little kitty fish. Oh, maybe they're not fish. I thought that was a tail coming off them, but it might just be the flowers behind it because he doesn't have one. <laughs> Interesting. Some more crystals. A little penguin guy up here. Polar bear wings. Fish with a horn and wings. And this one. I really want to just chop this picture in half. I want to color this half, but I don't really care for this half. And again, I couldn't tell you if we're in space, underwater, what, what all the swirlies mean. Um, the faces are well drawn, though. I wish you would have done some more people we type things in here. So here is more of the Mythographic series. So Wanderlust is also one of Alessandra's books. Um, yeah. So there we are. That is Mythographic Dreamweaver. So again, curious to know your thoughts. Are you interested in this one or not really your thing? Please let me know in the comments and I hope to see you next time. Bye.